Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Java Techies. So today uh, we will be discussing a very commonly asked question in the interviews uh, for valid or balanced parentheses. Now uh, we will first discuss about the question, then we will move on to the solution and uh, we will do a hands-on live coding session over here and also you can also try along with us and post your solutions on this video via comments. So let's talk about uh, what is the main problem and then we will move ahead with the solution. So uh, this is valid parenthesis or a balanced parenthesis problem where uh, this is the question like you will be given a string that is containing only the parenthesis like small brackets, curly brackets, square brackets both opening as well as closing you need to determine if that input is balanced or not. What do we mean by balance? That the order in which the opening bracket is there, in similar order there is a closing bracket. So uh, an open bracket must be closed in the similar order uh, for a particular balance or valid parenthesis. Every closed back bracket has a corresponding opening bracket of the same type. Like for example, a curly bracket is open, then only a curly bracket will be closed. So these are the few examples. Like in first case, this is a round bracket started and it is closed. So the output will be true because this is balanced. A round bracket is starting and the round itself is closing. Another one, a round bracket started and it closed. So this is valid square bracket started, square bracket closed, this is also valid and then a curly bracket started and it is closed. So this is also balanced. So we return true. Now the third example like a round bracket started but instead of a round a square bracket was closed. So this is not valid. For it to be valid if a round bracket has started so a round bracket has to be closed. So in this case the output will be false. We will discuss a few more uh, complex examples on whiteboard and then we will move on with the solution. So for example now you are getting an input something like this. This started then there is a square bracket then there is a curly bracket again it's a round bracket again a square bracket. Now if it it has to be like this the square is first closed then this round bracket has to be closed then the curly bracket corresponding to it then the square bracket and then the round bracket so this is a valid balanced one because all the brackets that have been opened in the same manner they have been closed now let's go with another input which is going to be an invalid one like a round bracket started, this started, then a curly one, then again a square one and then a round one. Now we are closing suppose this one and then we close the square bracket, then we close this one, then we close this round bracket and then we close the round bracket again. So this is open and this is closed, this is open this is closed till here it is valid this is open same is closed still it is valid now a square bracket is open but we are closing a round bracket so this situation is not valid so this will return false so these are the few examples just to explain you in detail some complex kind of coding examples now we will go ahead with writing the code for the same. So here, uh, okay, I have created a simple uh, class with uh, valid parenthesis is the name of the class. Then we have a main method. Now what we will do is we will create a method that will check if that is valid or not. In case it is valid, it will return true. If not valid, it will return false. So and we will call that method from our main method. So suppose uh, let's create a method which will return boolean. Mm -hmm. 
your method should also signify what you are trying to do so the method name should be in such a way it will take a string input and return a boolean and this method we are going to call from our main method so we will pass a string something like uh, something like this and we will pass this input here it will return a boolean which we will print later on and it needs to be static yeah so let's first write the logic and then uh, we will print the output and then test this problem so for this like as you see uh, we are inserting uh, those parentheses or uh, brackets and then we are closing them so the best uh, thing i think to use for it is a stack why stack is last in first out so the order in which we are checking suppose okay let me write an example so suppose uh, it is something like this um, then we have a curly bracket then we have a square bracket again a square bracket so suppose it is something like uh, this now what happens is as soon as uh, it comes to the stack we push this so this will be there in the stack again next element comes in we will push this to the stack so all the opening brackets we will push to the stack and after that once we start receiving the closing ones we will pop from the stack one by one now suppose a square bracket comes in this will also be pushed to the stack so the stack will be on top there will be a uh, this square bracket beneath that it will be a curly bracket and after that there will be this uh, round bracket so when we get this closing bracket we will pop from the stack that means the top element since stack is last in first out this top element will be popped once it is popped we have just these two elements the uh, curly bracket and the round bracket again we get this so we pop it so in this way i think the best data structure to use here is a stack because that is last in first out and we can easily use it to implement our uh, approach so i start with a stack we will create a stack of type character since uh, this is a string and each single character will be uh, element will be a character so here uh, i will create a new stack initially the stack will be empty importing that and then uh, so here we have created a character stack now what we will do is we will iterate through the entire string using a for loop we'll start from 0 till the length of the string that is input dot length and we will do a i plus plus so we will iterate through it and all the opening brackets we will push to the stack once we receive the closing bracket we will pop from the stack so this is what we are going to implement so first of all let's take the particular character that is there we can do that using input dot caret i so this will give the character at ith position initially it will be zero now what we will do is we will put a check if it is opening bracket we are going to push to the stack as i mentioned so let's do that so if suppose this ch is equal to opening round bracket or ch is equal to opening curly bracket 
और सी एच इज इक्वल टू स्क्वेर ब्रैकेट इन दिस केस वी विल पुश दीज टू द स्टैक सॉरी स्टैक डॉट पुश मेथड वी विल यूज सो वी विल पुश दिस पर्टिकुलर कैरेक्टर टू द स्टैक नाउ वी विल डू अ कंटिन्यू इन ऑर्डर टू रन दिस लूप अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट ऑल द एलिमेंट आर पुश फर्स्ट ऑल द ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट आर पुश फर्स्ट वन बाय वन टू द स्टैक वंस दिस इज डन ऑल द ओपनिंग ब्रैकेट आर पुश टू द स्टैक नाउ वी विल स्टार्ट विद द क्लोजिंग ब्रैकेट लॉजिक इन विच वी विल स्टार्ट popping from the stack if the matching closing bracket is present so for that okay and there will be one uh, negative scenario also suppose even after this suppose this was empty or it didn't contain any of these characters it was some other characters so for that we will introduce a negative scenario suppose even after this push logic that particular stack is empty that means uh, it is a uh, kind of negative scenario so if it is empty we will return false means there was no bracket at all present in the input or there were some invalid characters in the input which we were not expecting so this was a negative check now we will check for uh, each of the closing bracket scenario for that we are going to use a switch case so switch that particular character now in this switch case we will have multiple uh, three cases for each of the type of uh, that thing closing bracket so suppose first is like round bracket closing round bracket we will implement so suppose uh, okay i need to introduce one more variable uh, check so suppose it was a closing round bracket that we got so in that case what we will do is we will store we will pop from the stack so we will store it as part of check and then we will see if that check suppose uh, this uh, round bracket we got right so the element we popped should be a round bracket only if it is uh, a square bracket or a curly bracket we are going to return false because in that case it will whatever uh, character we are having here on the top i mean on the top of the stack the character needs to be the same so that is what we are checking so we got this check now we will check if suppose this if suppose this is equal to a curly bracket or this is equal to a square bracket in that case we will return false why because we got this round bracket and on top of the stack it has to be a round bracket otherwise it is going to be a unbalanced uh, parenthesis situation if it is a round bracket we will continue otherwise it will return false straight away because it is unbalanced parenthesis and after this switch case we will break now uh, we will continue similar with case 2 which will be for a curly bracket the logic will again be a uh, same similar kind of logic that we will uh, pop from the stack and we will store it in check variable and then we will check if suppose check in case is equal to a round bracket or a square bracket we will return a false sorry here it has to be pop not peak in this case 
we will return false and we will break. The third and the last case will be for a square bracket. Again, if suppose check is equal to a round bracket or a curly bracket, we are going to return false. So, these are the three cases. Now, what we are going to do at the end, we need to return. If suppose it wasn't false and everything ran well, then uh, the stack has to be empty, right? Like suppose all the opening brackets were properly closed. So, it was a balanced parenthesis. So, we push to the stack and all of them will be popped. So, finally, the, at the end of the program, if it is a balanced uh, parenthesis situation or valid parenthesis situation, then the stack will be empty. So, it will return true. Now, let us print this output using a system.out.println. Okay, I'll just print the output, true or false, as it was there in the problem statement. So, let's run this. So, you can see this was a valid parenthesis, so it returned true. Let's make it a little complex. This is again a valid parenthesis example. Let me run it again. It should return true. Now, let us make it false. So, suppose I am closing a round bracket over here. So, ideally in this situation, it is not a valid or balanced parenthesis. Should return false. So, you can see it is returning false here. Now, let me do a situation like suppose this. So, square bracket open, square bracket close, curly bracket open, curly bracket close. Then we have this uh, round bracket, two round brackets, then curly bracket. Okay. So, this is also balanced one. So, this should return true. So, you can see this return true. This is a very uh, complex kind of uh, example. So, as you can see here, this is a very complex kind of example and it is working fine. So, this is basically the um, example and the entire code that we did for this particular coding question. Let me know in comment section if, uh, if I explained it well or if you have any questions for this. So, we can also resolve that and if you need some other help with some other question, you can also comment that. And we will try creating a video in the next one uh, to find a solution for it. And we will do a hands-on coding exercise uh, together. So, thank you so much. Thanks all for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. Stay tuned for 